Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to make your own hats, how to create your own hats from with wavetable, analog of operator, any kind of sense who is have noise wavetable and to get to get this kind of hats or like this. Alright, like with this rock you can really do your own hats, which is pretty cool. So let me show you first. I'm gonna show you with analog, like the sound design side now, how to get a hat with just by noise. So, just gonna put a note here, it doesn't matter because it's gonna trigger noise anyway. Put solo. Okay, you got this. So put the color up. Here you have noise. So, the thing is basically noise with. I'm gonna remove the filter. And it's gonna be like just percussive sound and you just put the system down and put the decay a little bit down and you already kind of get a kind of hat uh, yeah and then you can accentuate the effect by using a filter I pass filter so 24 25 and like this modulated by an envelope Oh, at this time the envelope has to be down, like like this. With this minus envelope, you filter is basically doing like this. Every time the the envelope is triggered, up oh, like this. So and yeah, like this you got you hat this is the basic sound design to get a hat you can as well add lfo uh, if you take so to waveform you can apply this to the envelope oh, sorry this is the pan and you get a more percussive sound same all right just crashing because I have a lot of wave table plug in open everywhere and it's kind of and yeah I can do sorry the same with the filter no resonance sorry it's adding a more punchy effect to your hat so do not hesitate to use the LFO all right so here is oh, here is the rack So add use the wave table because you get so many wave tables that you can use to create your hats and so many interesting things. Uh, you can just change, use any and really got kind of very different kind of hats. Uh, so yeah, here the modulation is how I say, filter envelope with very short envelope. You have the macro, the attack is control by the macro, the DK as well, release. This envelope is basically controlling the either the filter and the and the volume. And then you can change the position of the wave table, change the cutoff, the attack. If you want more like shaker sound, put the at the attack around 30, show DK. And you got more like a shaker if you want more like a hat, open or close, open. Put the long decay release if you want. Close, hat, no release, and the short decay. Then you have gain, just to control the gain, to avoid to be too loud. Pitch, if you wanna kind of tune, pitch your hat. It's controlling this frequency shifter. This can be really useful when you change, when you put like start to put weird with wavetable you can 
give the bit to get really different kind of hats so the reason I saw use control and FM as well it's applying frequency modulation to the wave table same to get different kind of of color to your hats and then I just had some distortion overdrive bright key to make it a little bit more a little a river but very very small oh but no actually it's no reverb I don't know why I keep it and yet again all right so yeah basically with this you can really kind of different kind of sound you know do not hesitate to change the wave table that's not a problem you're gonna find really interesting kind of stuff you can even create kind of percussion whatever you're changing another tip double knot do not hesitate to put two knots you can even put three four how many you want just to give different kind of sound uh, let me show you this one all right just to show you what you can really create different kind of of hats all right this is more like shaker but very kind of granular same all right and then if you put you can really create kind of cool groove with all together you see and it's just it's just with wave table and different kind of, of parameter and i have done a version for live 9 uh, for people who doesn't have live 10 um which is basically the same uh operator i use it so i create the noise with the frequency modulation so this oscillator is modulating this one which is modulating this one which is modulating this one and on the end is creating noise i could have put track straight away noise here and to down to deactivate all the other but i wanted to create like original noise and it's the same, you know, you have the cutoff to shape. You, I put the resonance here because it's to accentuate the effect, GK, attack, gain, tune, release, and FM. Here the FM, it's basically changing all the waveform from all the oscillator. So you have obviously less possibility than with wave table, but you can still get nice stuff. Ah yes, and I put, I put this one, oh sorry, I put this rack, it's, this rack you can find in one of my previous video, I'm gonna put the link in the description and you can download it for free as well, which is just to enhance a little bit your heart giving some punch and some warm and crunchiness, and yeah, I think I show you everything, yeah, now one more tips. When you are using the wave table or even with the analog, I think use the unison mode to just spread your hat. If I put, you see, you got your hat spread. You can try the different kind. All right. And yeah, I think I show you everything I need to show you. you. I hope guys you like you can now create your own hats uh, I don't use always I don't always create mine but sometimes it's good you know to add you some some originality to your sound thank you very much for watching and see you in two weeks guys thank you